Boys and girls of the internet, we are running so behind today. We got to get in the big red ram like right now. It is after 11 o'clock. I'm supposed to be meeting. Who am I supposed to be meeting? Alan? I think it's Alan down in Gaffney to pick up hay bales. And here I am. Not even got the trailer hooked up yet. Nothing. The king of procrastination right here. You're looking at him. I'm trying to get down here beside the barn. Snag this trailer. Oh, it's good for raining today too. That's looking good. I gotta get this up and sunk. Throw them pallets off of there. Check the air in the tires. And we've got to go, like now. Well, you guys know how I'm always 1,000% prepared for everything. Yeah, so I didn't account on it raining today. So that's wonderful. Um, I'm out of gas, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, I'm still like five minutes away from being over here at the farm. And then we're gonna leave from there to go get the hay. And that's 30 minutes from here. And I'm supposed to be there at noon. And it's like 11.36. Noon's not gonna happen. Uh, Cause I have got to get gas. I mean, I'm, I'm right above the little red warning line thing, but the light's already on over there. So even if I just put like 10 bucks in it, I'm gonna have to stop and put a couple dollars in it just to get this run done because I should have got I, I should have left the house sooner I should have got prepared but then my neighbor I don't know what in the world he was doing he oh shit he's got a he had a trailer put down there in front of my trailer where I couldn't get to it and then I was gonna go over there and move it and then his one of his relatives or somebody showed up like at perfect timing and got the trailer and left with it but it took him like 20 minutes to get hooked up and, <clears throat> and say everything he needed to say and then finally freaking leave but and i couldn't do anything i had to wait on him so i could get to my trailer so that added like 20 minutes of frustration all right look <sighs> you dragging this what oh yeah i saw it come undone this one was flopping i didn't have big straps i just had teeny little puny straps but it's all right they kind of sat down in the little hump on the trailer we're gonna roll these bad boys right into this area and then we'll spread all this out or thin it out spread it thin it whatever first we got to get these big straps off of here in the pouring rain Both of them just rolled right off the back. So now we gotta get up out of this field. In the right. So we're leaving now. Mr. Webb's place. And I got two bales of hay. As much as I hate to do it, I've got, I put down a whole bunch of cardboard that's trash. And we're gonna take the little Cavalier out to the trash station today. And, uh, oh, she missed. There we go. We'll let this thing warm up a minute. She is cold natured. But, uh, yeah, I piled the trash in here. I put down cardboard and stuff first, though. So, and I don't really like driving it in the rain either, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So, let's get over there and get back. So if you're wondering about the hay that we just cut away from, uh, I'm not gonna spread any of that today. Like I said, it is raining and it is cold today because the weather can't make up its mind. So we're gonna go take the trash off and then tomorrow we will resume the video of uh, spreading out the hay and everything over there at the farm. We got some more stuff we need to do too. So let's go check on our roundabout situation. Okay, so 
And those of you who are following the uh, Saturday trash dump videos, here's our new roundabout that they put in to do away with the, uh, the four-way stop that we had. I'm not quite a fan, but it is what it is, I suppose. that's it they put in barriers and they even put some plants and stuff in the middle and some nice mulch so I don't know seems to be working okay it's a little too narrow for the tractor trailers that are coming through there I don't know if you noticed it might maybe not because it's raining but uh the concrete curb all the way around is scuffed and black marked and uh, there's even a couple places where chunks of concrete are already broken out uh, where trucks have hit it trying to swing those that turn so single lane roundabouts like that are not semi-truck friendly so. to the trash dump boom and just like that we're empty so now the car is going to need a vacuum which it really needed anyway i need to a friend of mine finally found some uh snow i mean some uh, summer tires for this car I am still running snow tires. Uh, the only problem is, I think he said the ones that he's able to get uh, are not white wall, they are black wall. And I really don't want those, I want white walls. That's what I've got on it, that's what it would have came with new. But uh, 185-80 R13s are not easy to come by. So we kind of take what we can get, you know? But, all right, let's get back to the house, do some cleaning, and then tomorrow we're gonna jump back over to the farm, and get some work done. Okay, it is the next day. We have unhitched ourselves from that trailer that we got the hay with. And I'm gonna back over here and we're gonna hitch up to that trailer. And I got some scrap metal on it. I gotta get the scrap metal off, so let's get hooked up. Do -do -do. So change of plans. I'm not unloading all that. <laughs> Do I? Oh yeah. I uh, I ain't got time to fool with unloading all that metal just to load it back up next week when I have to go back. So this seat's got water in it fantastical we'll go ahead and let this thing warm up I'll find something to wipe that seat off with but so this throttle doesn't really do anything until about right here none of these low settings do anything right about there is where it picks up so throttle up choke out come on starter yeah see what I mean inch is what does all the throttling so I don't know it works then I need some fuel I should still have oh yeah full jug cool beans all right let's load it and we're gonna take the <coughs> echo blower with us today echo PB 260L it's an old one don't let her fool you. That'll work. And the gas jug. Um, our Swisher 60 inch cut pull behind mower that's up there. Got a brand new carburetor on the way for that guy. <laughs> so that we can, uh, we can take it over to the farm. The float started sticking in it. And when I tore it apart, the gasket ripped. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Just buy the whole carburetor. It was literally cheaper to buy a whole carburetor off of Amazon than it was to try to get one gasket set. Side. 
All right, we're off. Let's go. First breakfast. So it's pretty windy today, and it's kind of chilly this morning. It's supposed to warm up, though. Uh, this past week, a uh, winter came back and played, paid a little visit with us. And now that we're done with that, uh, we're going to get back into spring, pushing into summer temperatures, which will be nice. But first, like always, I've got to get freaking gas because... I even put gas in it yesterday. We went and got that hay and all that stuff, and I just ran out what I put in it. So looks like I'm stopping again today to get gas and food because I'm starving. So probably food first. We're gonna drag our little mess right through downtown. That's all of downtown. <laughs> that was it. Check that out. Just driving down Main Street. $25 or 10 and it was $2.54. $2 yeah, $2.54 a gallon. It's cost of living's high. I'm going up. Got to do her though. So let's check on the weather today. Mm. Only one down and they're all grazing. Probably gonna have clear skies. <laughs> oh. They're doing something over here. I ain't figured it out yet, but uh. They got something going on right there they've been doing for the last month. And I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna find out. Maybe. And they got all their trees cleaned up from where they had them fall from that storm. It tore their yard up. But they finally got it all cleaned up. Looks good now. Looks good. So we've got some hay bales we've got to go spread and I've got a bunch of grass to cut today. I'm also going to try to cut all up through the fence on that side of that little pasture. So we'll see how it goes. I really wish I had the swisher finisher mower. It would, uh, it would cut this time in half. Also only running it two. Four, five. I could go to six, but there's a big speed difference between five and six. And six it doesn't cut quite as good. 
example right now we just knocked the new chain off the oregon bar on the pool and pro chainsaw so that brought everything to a grinding halt so now we're gonna unloosen this thing and put the chain back on it and tension it just right and then we'll keep going and at least we have like 20 minutes till somebody gets to murder us yep and then we'll get back to cleaning up and the hay is all spread out in the pen i don't know if i filmed that yet or not i'll show you that here in a little bit but first fix the chainsaw all right so this one's gonna end this video right here and i know you guys can't see a thing but the old gt 3000's got a drive belt that's getting worn out but luckily it's got all the model numbers right there and if you punch in ground drive belt 137 153 if you punch that in on the amazon the amazon brings up a listing for the belt and then if you click on it and zoom in i got it it'll tell you on the amazon link that that belt is a 83 inch 83 inch by half so it's not a 5 8 belt i thought it was a 5 8 belt but it's 83 by half locked 83 by half so you can take that 83 by half and instead of ordering the belt on amazon that's 29 dollars you can go to your local tractor supply which sells husky brand belts and here it is right here all good and worn out and that's a blue belt and that's the color of the husky belt so Odds are he probably put one on it, whoever this guy was that had it before me some years ago. And that belt's just done worn out. Looks like you got to take off the PTO drive stuff. Shoot, it's actually flipped up there. But we'll go get a new half inch by 83 inch belt. And then we'll be good to motor again. And then hopefully my carburetor will have came in for my finishing mower. And we can put all that together and we can keep mowing. So I think this video is getting a little lengthy. So I'm going to end this one right here. But we will pick this up later. And... Uh, We'll do a part two or or something and continue this saga in a part two. Because like I said, I think this one's gotten kind of long. So we got the hay spread. I got most of the, the fenced in uh, stuff cut today. And I got most of the lower field cut. So now it's just the other half of that fenced in pasture. And then some spots down there at the creek. Probably about another acre and a half down there near the creek. It's got to be mowed. All for a festival that is going on this coming weekend. So today's Sunday. Got to get all this ready for the festival this weekend. And me and the Big Red Dirty Dodge, Clifford, we're getting her done. So let's get it on home. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm not ending the video yet. I wanted to put this in here for anybody that was paying attention. Uh, that model number that was on the mower that I mentioned under the hood, if you take that model number and punch that into Amazon or Google, it will bring up listings for that replacement belt. If you click on those listings and read the details or the product description, or sometimes even if it has multiple pictures that you can scroll through, scroll through a couple of those pictures and usually on the packaging somewhere it'll have the size of the belt and it did so in my case that whatever the hell model number was 157 137 158 something like that uh 
when that translated over to a 83 inch belt by half inch thick and it's a v-belt so boom there you go now instead of having to order it through amazon i'm going to drive over here to tractor supply this morning because they just built us one of those uh we didn't have a tractor supply before but now we do so let's go to tractor supply and find that belt Strawberry Hill, USA. So then you just go down here to the aisle. We'll go over until we find half by 83. This is laying in there, but look, before you take it, Take the belt, slide it out of the casing, and it'll show right there the number on the belt itself. And you can make sure that it's a half by 83, because sometimes they're in the wrong packaging. So, but this one's right, $17.99. So, let's go get it. <laughs> 